Hello again, everyone. Be sure to remember that it is illegal to rip the tag off of me before you do anything. Uh, this is going to be another matchup. Imperial Dramon versus Diaboromon. And you're going to see a lot of the same problems that uh, I had with my Grand Dracomon deck. Dia Diaboromon is uh, a little too slow to deal with Imperial Dramon, which you can see I play out the black tie again, and that does come in later in the game because it's going to dodge that uh, Pyildramon return to the bottom of the deck. But uh, at the point it comes in, it's not really going to matter. He plays the Jamming XV Mon, Digivolve up into the Kudisari Mon. I don't have a a uh, dude to play out, an Arata. And here I am searching for that Diaboromon. Can't find it, but I do find a Keramon. So, you know, pretty set up nicely on board, unless he has some removal. Swings in with the jamming, finds it, goes up into the uh, Pyildramon, which it, because of the black tie, Pyildramon cannot send that Infermon to the bottom. Swings in to security, finds myself a token there, which is pretty nice, but it doesn't have blocker, it doesn't really do anything right now. And uh, the real scary part is going to be the fact that he's going to Digivolve up into the Dragon Mode and he's going to poop out those level 4s, which makes it, uh, whew, like, what do I do against this? It's already off to the races, and I guess I don't have a Diaboromon in hand, uh, except for uh, the security attack one, so I'm going to swing in for uh, three checks, I think, after I do a little bit more soul searching. And... I do find a Kudisarimon, which I guess I swing into security. That's one, two, three checks. Swing in with the token that I made. He is going to Kokaitis Breath, and I mean, what am I going to do here? He has three checks. I have two security, and it's turn freaking three. Like, bruh. I really can't do anything against that. So swing, swing, swing. GG easy, no re for game one. Game two coming alive. And I think I go first again. A slow start as I think about what I want to do. I just play out a Kurisariman, which means my opening hand was probably garbage. He gets to Digivolve up into that level 4 in Raising for playing out a Stingmon. And he doesn't get it for 3, he gets it for 4, but that still does choke me to 2. I choke him down to 1, but... Uh, it's not really going to matter. He's going to swing in. Breath of the Gods means that he cannot attack anymore. So he's going to Drogress up. He does return that to the bottom of the deck, which, you know, whatever. I guess I just built up on the board for nothing. And again, that's why the Black Tie was in this deck, to dodge that specifically. But he is going to pass the turn to two. I play out the Ketamon to search for an Arata and another Ketamon, it seems, so I can start building up, but he's going to swing, and then he's going to swing again. But first, he's going to build up. He's going to swing again right there. Nothing to kill him, and even if, if there was, he has jamming. The Infermon does get the kill on that Vmon right there, but I come, come on, I have one secure. This is turn three, dude. This is turn freaking three. What is happening here? Hammer Spark up so he can choke me to one with the Imperial Dramon and well, GG easy no re. Let's go to game three in this uh, for fun best of until I win at least one. <laughs> so not looking good for your boy again, but ho let's hope we can actually get a good opening hand here and see if Diaboromon on a good day can stand up to Imperial Dramon, and we see he opens up with, what is that, three Imperial Dramons in his opening hand. I go up into uh, presumably a black tie as my tamer down there. He does go for the search, finds the the two, uh, the green and the blue with Davis, and he is going to Digivolve up, and then he is going to play out the Davis and Ken. So, not a bad start for him as I push up with the Ketamon. Warp into Infermon and then go up into the blocker Diaboromon. So now we are the ones off to the races. We have something big and scary in the way that can stop up anything that he's going to send at me, unless he like does the Dino Beamon, stays suspended. You can see I'm reaching my arm over because I'm eating some queso dip because I was hungry. He swings in with the jamming Vmon, and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm going to block that instead of let it get through for one free swing. So I just kill it. You see, he's looking for something to do. Doesn't really have anything. I mean, he can play out a Labramon, but I don't think he wants to. He just wants to leave that in Raising. So he is going to actually uh, 
play it out and then pass the turn. So it's looking really good for me. He bricked really hard. I forgot to put out in raising before I played the uh, Ketamon, so I just play it out a little bit late. Uh, I do find another Ketamon, and I think I'm just going to play that one out too because I'm looking for an Arata right here. And I do manage to find one and the Kurisarimon that plays it for free, so that is the true combo right there. And even though I don't have anything in raising, I still do have this big, scary blocker Diaboromon. That means he can't really do anything to me right now. And again, unless he finds Kakaita's Breath and he donates four memory over to me, then, you know, it's going to be a real struggle for him. So he plays out another Vimon. He's going for the search. And excuse me, I want to take a drink of water. <clears throat> I need to get that Dasani sponsorship. Drink water, gamers. Don't drink Mountain Dew, don't drink G Fuel, drink water. Water is the best thing for you. So he digivolves up, passes the turn back to me. And this is where I do finally get that Arata value. There it is, Ketamon in Raising. And I am opting to see what I want to do next. And I think I go for the uh, Digivolve onto another Kurisarimon so I can kind of build two stacks at once. I'm going to swing with the Ketamon first, and then I'm going to pass the turn over. That way the Ketamon gets me that one free value, or that one memory from the Arata a little bit later. You can kind of see the Queso dip in that bottom right-hand corner, too. That shit was good. We had some, uh, we had some, uh, coupons for free Queso. There goes an Infernamon out of the security. Doesn't really matter because it was jamming. Swings in. I am going to block that baby Vimon. He does go up into another jamming XVmon. He doesn't have what he's looking for, but he is still getting some chip damage in. He doesn't have the uh, Stingmon. He doesn't have the Jogress, it seems. And because, you know, his opening hand was three freaking dragon modes, which is uh, usually what Princess sees in her opening hands. Goes up into Lobomon. <laughs> Excuse me. Finds me another Arata. So I am sitting very happy, sitting very pretty right now. Even though I only have one Diaboromon on board, next turn I get five memory. That's a guarantee I'm going to have at least a few more Diaboromon out. So I have two Kurisarimon to build up on. And one of them says uh, that your Diaboromon get like plus 1,000 or something. Then the other one says they all get rush. Right now I'm playing for the defense. I don't exactly want to rush. So I am just going to uh, Iron Fisted Onslaught to clear his board. I'm not even going to build up to a Diaboromon. I'm just going to take that turn and say, Nah, I don't want to deal with all that. So just pass the turn over for three, which I think is pretty wise. I don't want to give him too much memory to work with. He does only have that one Labramon out. And, well, he is still stuck in a hard place. He does play out another Vmon, passes the turn back. I go to five memory because of those Aratas, which are put putting in so much work. If there's anything that this deck needs, it's more consistent ways to find and play Arata for free. Because that's one of the real strengths. Going up into that Infirmon plays out the Analog Boy to find the other Diaboromon who's going to make me two more tokens. And those are a lot of big beefy blocker tokens right there. So not really much this deck can do against this. And that's kind of what makes this deck strong. Like if I had Congo instead of a uh, final Zubagon punch or a few more removal spells, then it would probably do really good as a big stall deck. But if I do make it into a big stall deck, then the problem is trying to finish off a uh, security control, you know? So he swings in with the jamming. Can't get in because, uh-oh, I have a lot of blockers in the way. Still that one Kurisarimon down there. And I'm just basically biding my time until I can finish off the game. He does hidden potential to digivolve up into the Pyildramon, which doesn't get its uh, DNA digievolution proc. Finds the hammer spark to get one more memory. Goes up into the fighter mode, which is going to bounce that Kurisarimon. So it feels bad slowing me down just a little bit, but that bounce means I can just re-digivolve on top of that Ketamon, which means, I mean, look at my board. I'm going to be able to build up into another Diaboromon. You can see I also have Breath of the Gods in case of any other bouncy shenanigans. I have uh, the Zubagon Punch. I'm going to warp into the uh, Infirmon, which is very useful, and then go up into the Promo Diaboromon. I have six blockers on board right now. And there's really nothing this deck can do against that. So 
Uh, what's gonna be happening here is he's gonna try to find an in with this, uh, Imperial German fighter mode as I continue to eat some queso. Uh, he's gonna swing in. He's gonna suspend that Diaboromon. I'm gonna block with a token, and then I'm going to, uh, use the effect to restand, but I actually misread my Kurisarimon because I think it, sa I, it says when this Digimon with another name or with the same name gets deleted, it can restand. But as someone else pointed out, it's a your turn effect. So it is still suspended. But I mean, even if he does want to swing into the stack, I'm just going to block with the token anyway. Like, like that's kind of the point. The tokens just keep getting in the way. And then, uh, you know, if you use targeted removal, that's when you would use the decoy, Kurisarimon. So... That's, uh, that would have been better in another situation, you know? And it is because, you know, all these blockers just stay in the way. That's what makes dealing with the Diaboromon really frustrating. But, I mean, again, this is the third game, and the Imperial German player had to brick before we finally got to this point, you know? So, we see, I have a million checks at the ready because I have two tokens, three Diaboromons, it's already plus five, so six checks, final Zubagon punch on top of a Breath of the Gods, just to really ram it home that this Diaboromon is going to fucking destroy you. <laughs> like, 12 checks coming out right there, and then I finish it off with the big blocker. So coming into this fourth and final game we're going to be playing together, he was looking for, uh, I think he was looking for another Kokaita's Breath or something right there. But uh, coming into this next and final game, coming into this next and final game, uh, this is another slightly longer one. But, uh, I actually don't remember who takes this one. This is the last game we play of the day two, because after this we go home. And, you know, it's, it's a long day. This was like two hours of footage that I compressed into, you know, obviously half of that length. And then now I'm narrating over it, which is another hour of work. And can you imagine what it would be like if I was, uh, also editing the video on top of it to put the cards in? Like, I, oof, that's way too much time. You know, that would be so helpful to the viewer. It'd be way too much time. <laughs> he plays out the Davis. A uh, play out the Searcher Ketamon. I don't exactly find what I'm looking for. So, I, you know, I can't pass the turn over to one. I Digivolve up again. And that's when I find the actual Ketamon that I would have liked to have had on a baby. But, uh, you know, play out the Analog Boy. Looking for something. And I think I misplay because I put the cards to the bottom of the deck. I'm, s I'm so used to putting cards to the bottom of the deck there I kind of like low-key cheat but it's a casual game we're not really playing for anything uh, you can see I did pick up a Diaborum on there wondering if I should push up or not which I do I mean not really doing much else the Kurisarimon lets me play the Arata for free because you draw first then you do the when digivolving effects so rip that off the top of the deck go into an infirmon and hope he doesn't have removal for it because i can go into the diaboromon next turn otherwise i could just build up in raising next turn and i do have the infirmon in the trash already that's going to get me plus 1 minimum there goes another one with that jamming you can see he does have the uh or i thought he did have the stingmon in there but he's going to play out another Davis and pass the turn to three. Finds a Vmon. I get up to four. And let's see what I can do to start going off to the races here. So, I do Digivolve up into the Blocker Diaboromon. I find the token. I'm trying to find which side is the one, which is the logo. And then uh, from here warp up into another Infirmon, and that's kind of what I really like about the that specific Infirmon is the fact that it can warp, which does put an immediate threat down. You see, I block the jamming XVmon. He has another XVmon out there with jamming, and I do tell him that one of my Kurisarimon in, or Inheritables is all of your other Digimon get plus 2k, or rather, that's not the Kurisarimon, that's the Infirmon. So I tell him, that token would kill the XVmon. So he goes for the Pyildramon. He's going to bottom deck the token. 
gonna hammer spark up he's gonna get two checks here and he's gonna do that with the plug-in which is very scary because he's swinging for four I get an errata get an analog boy so it's not like I'm not getting any value out of this but it's still very scary to just lose all of that security so fast like it's already swinging for so much now I am literally left with nothing he's gonna poop shit out to the side and now I have to really fight back, which I do have two erratas. I have another Infirmon ready to digivolve up. They're all going to have blockers. So this is going to be something he needs to punch through and try to punch through hard. It's going to be very difficult for him at this stage. But you see, uh, I'm not sure if I do have it in the hand, but we will see pretty soon. I go up into another blocker, Diaboromon. Two erratas means two tokens. That's four blockers on board. And... Well, let's see what I decide to do next here. I'm going to swing the Diaboromon into the Imperial Dramon because it does get over it. It has 13k because of that uh, Infirmon Inheritable where it gets plus 2k. All other Digimon. So that other Diaboromon is still sitting at 11. But now I have three blockers. He has two attackers. Sure, he can Jogress and, you know, bottom deck something. But now this is the real stall game coming out. And the fact that we got to this point means it's working. And uh, this is where... Uh, one of the other tamers we used to have in this deck was the yellow, uh, I forget which two it is, I think it's like TK and carry, where it's like, if you have less security than your opponent, you gain two memory, which, that was helpful in this matchup as well, but, uh, took that out of the deck to try to get a little bit more stall, a little bit more speed. It's gonna Jogress up into the Pyeldramon, he's gonna bottom deck one of the, uh, one of the tokens. Is debating on whether or not he wants to swing in right here because I can just block it with the Diaboromon, but he's gonna swing. I block with the Diaboromon, it dies. He swings, I block with the token, and then he goes into Omni Blitz for game, which is damn. I mean, it's thematic. Omni does kill Diaboromon, but you know, if I had another turn, that game keeps going. And unless he had a Lobomon or some shit, you know, but that was overall a pretty good series. And I hope you enjoyed this series of games. Look forward to more of my content in the future. And as per usual, I will catch you cats later.